welcome back to another weekend vlog. I'm just gonna be doing a mini reset this weekend, just setting myself up for a new week. But I'm also not gonna put a whole lot of pressure on myself because I do wanna have a bit more of a restful weekend. So anything that I don't get done today, I'll do tomorrow. And if I don't get it done at all, that's fine too. I would usually do my planning for the week on a Sunday, but seeing as the weather's gonna be really nice tomorrow, it's gonna be 31 degrees. Now keep in mind, it's not even spring yet. Or is it spring? I'm not sure. It's the 3rd of September and I thought spring only started on the 21st of September but I'm not entirely sure. I could be wrong. But yeah, seeing as the weather's gonna be so nice, we thought it would be fun to just go to the river and have a nice chill day in the sun. Matt and my sister's boyfriend have been wanting to go fishing, so we thought why not do it tomorrow. So yeah, I'm just gonna take a book with me and just tan a little bit. It's been so long since I've got some sun on my skin. This past week, it started out fine. Everything was running smoothly. And then as the week progressed, it turned into a bit of a shit show and it ended up just being a really stressful week. Basically our system went down and caused a whole lot of issues. Plus it was a busy week so it was just like the timing was horrible. Prepping everything for next week will hopefully take a bit of the pressure off. I don't think that work is going to slow down next week and I definitely don't want a repeat of this week. So I think Having meals planned out and prepped for next week will definitely help with that. And then we're also less likely to go and grab something super unhealthy just, you know, out of convenience because we're lazy and tired and don't feel like cooking. So I do just want to prep as much as I can and then the rest I'll do in the week on the day. And then I won't have to think so much about food during the week because everything will pretty much be ready to go. I also want to plan out my workouts and yoga for the week. I did say in my August plan with me that I had just signed up to Boho Beautiful but when I saw Aloe Moves 50% off sale I had to take advantage of it and I signed up again but now I have a dilemma because I can't choose between the two apps like I love them both they honestly can't be compared they are so different so I'm gonna keep them both which is why I want to look at my schedule and see how I can fit everything in obviously I have about one to two hours every morning to work out and do yoga. So I would like to try and fit in as much as I can. And then also just set a couple of goals for myself because that really, really helps me stay on track and also motivates me and makes me feel really productive when I actually knock them all out. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. As I said, I definitely don't want to push myself this weekend. I really am feeling like I need the rest and I just need more of a fun weekend. Polly, do you want to go for a walk? So yeah, I'm gonna take a full walk quickly. I also feel like getting out the house a bit, so do that first and then I'll knock out my to-do list for this week. got some inspo from Pinterest on meals I want to make and then I separated them into like breakfast, lunches, dinners and then I also wrote down what I need to prep and then I just pop them all into my calendar so that if I want to change it up a bit I can I'll just move them around okay so I think I'm gonna start with the breakfasts and then move on to prepping the lunches and then the last thing I'm gonna do is the dinners <laughs>
meal prepping is done. Pretty happy about that. But we're gonna go watch the sunset now. We're just gonna go chill at Jamie and Grayson's place and just have a bit of a chilled evening. some baked oats overnight wheat bakes we've got a banana one and then a chocolate one little bliss balls or energy balls whatever you want to call them it's chocolate and peanut butter chicken fritters i've obviously got a lot more than these but i'm gonna freeze most of them and then we can just take them out as we need they're really nice for lunches but also dinners too especially like nourish balls and that kind of thing then we've got some sweet potato toast which i've really been loving chopped onions a chickpea dip egg mayo just some chicken breast that i cooked in the air fryer and then we can just shred that chicken and use it for like chicken mayo or you can even add it to salads whatever roast veggies and then obviously rice which is always helpful to have because it always takes so long to cook puts me off every time so having it pre-cooked you can just take it as you go during the week super helpful and if you like me and you struggle to take vitamins or you struggle to remember to take them these things really help each day has its own little box and then it's split up into like morning noon evening and then bed so these little things really help i know i sound like such a granny but trust me it helps so yeah i usually just fill them all up on a sunday and then i'm ready to go for the week <laughs> 